Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, I prepare some Christmas treats, chestnut cookies, chestnut hummus, and Philomena joins me to make her cranberry salsa. But first, we get in the holiday spirit at Firestone Park in Columbiana. I'm here with Terry Schaefer and he is the co-chair of the joy of christmas so if you're in need of some christmas spirit this definitely is the way to go absolutely absolutely 10 years this has been going on can you believe it i cannot and this is a fundraiser who benefits from this gorgeous light display the columbiana bureau of tourism puts it on and everything it the benefits them the park the community, it just brings a lot of people into Columbiana, and that's what we are, the friendliest place in Ohio, you know. I or heard, well, the nicest. Nicest, but the we're nicest, friendly too. But you're friendly too. Yes, and we're I sweet know. too. And you're sweet. There's a lot of lovely things. I passed, you know, Birdfish Brewery on the way. It's sweet You there. also have a lot of good <laughs> things going on. Yes. Now, as the co-chair, who decides what displays go up. I mean, that must be fun shopping for that. Well, we've bought a lot through the years and my other co-chair, Terry McCoy, um, he is one of the, he puts everything on paper and does a lot of the work that way. And then we have a church group, the East Fairfield Church in New Waterford, and they do a lot of the displays and then the park crew here does the buildings and the tunnels and stuff like that. It's I a, mean, it's a, it's, it's a, a huge it undertaking. Is, absolutely. And I mean, how many watts of power, you know, oh are you guys it's blowing? It's spinning, you? baby. It's spinning. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we need to get the, uh, you know, Edison in on this. <laughs> but I mean, it, who came up with this originally? Because this really is the really bu- nice community event. The Bureau of Tourism 10 years ago, it was, you know, I wasn't the chair or anything then. And that group, core group, started together. And I think there was probably 20 displays at the most the first year. And we decorated the buildings and everything. It's grown, and we've people have called us and sold us displays, and we've acquired oh, yeah. them through the years. And we bought new too. We've tried to change everything to LED, which is a very expensive mm. endeavor because each bulb is one dollar. Well, Marianne is in charge of the marketing for the uh, Columbiana Tourism Bureau. And how far is your net when you reach out? I mean, because this really is different than a lot of communities have around So, um, because my background is in public relations, I kind of go for the gold. So we go all the way to Pittsburgh. We try and reach out over there. We also go all the way up to Cleveland. So anywhere in that space. I've also reached out to some of the different chambers like in Mm -hmm. West Virginia and things like that. Because really, you can make a day trip here. I mean, we start at six. So you can come into Columbia and hit all the stores in historic downtown, head out to the north end where you know we have Dutch house and the Dutch shops out yeah. there and then go over to Firestone area um, town center do some shopping and then come here and then go out and have dinner I mean so it really is a, a there's a lot day. to do are you seeing a lot of bus trips that come in and take advantage of that we do so the the beauty is that the prices are affordable so it's ten dollar donation per car and that could be you know 15 people in the car. Exactly. We don't like know. You go to the drive <laughs> Take exactly. your whole family. <laughs> and then um, it's $2 per person on motor coach. And then we also offer seasonal passes at $25. So it's a deal. That is a really good deal. And when you deal. consider everything that you, you're seeing, you know, over 80 some light displays, you're getting the ice castle, which we're sitting in right now. And you get to see cozy. Santa. And you can also go over to the gingerbread house. And we have about 155 gingerbread houses made by area students that are brought in. And Mrs. Claus is over there and she Aww. reads to the kids. That is, I mean, it really is nice. Now, how much has your designation as being the nicest city? How has that helped with promoting tourism in Columbia? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know that it's changed for us in what we do because we've always known that. I think it's helping bring awareness to the fact that we are here and some of the other special programs that maybe weren't getting the attention, like mm-hmm. the nonprofit uh, that's running the Crown Theater that has the special needs program. So, and then it's going to help, I think, also when we start looking throughout the year ahead, too, because it gives people a reason to kind of look at more than just one aspect of what they knew of Columbia. You know? Santa, how many visitors did we have last year? Wow, 
And I was going to say 10, but I'm glad Santa's That's more. more than the nicest village in Ohio. <laughs> That's I, more than the population. I'm telling you. This, seriously, it's a community that does it. it the men's group, this church, well, I shouldn't say the men's group, the church started in May working on that new wow. train. And it took, and you know, God bless a lot of people that helped us through that time, like Tom Mako out at Homestead, donated a barn for us mm -hmm. to work in. Yeah. And you know, this group went above and beyond, I'm telling you. And they get a donation to the church from the Bureau of Tourism for doing that. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Well, autumn is in the air, and I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And man, this is one of my favorite seasons, and you guys have got it going on. Yes, we do. You know, when the seasons change, so does our menu change. So these are some of our new menu options we have here. These are our flatbreads. Uh, this is actually our smoked kibasi sandwich with some kibasi from Leitner's and yeah. Struthers, uh, pierogies from the pierogi lady. <laughs> and then this is our caddy mac and cheese over here. Uh, so just some new items here, some new drink menu items for the fall to keep you warm uh, during the cold days. And we've got these huge screens. You've really expanded your coverage. Yes, yes. We added about five 70-inch TVs. We got the NFL Sunday ticket. So we'll have every game, Buckeyes, Browns, everything. I'll tell you, this is your fall headquarters. Come on down to the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. At the same time, the air gets a little colder, the faces get a little warmer, and family gets a little closer. Everything seems to slow down, and what matters most is suddenly much easier to see. Pioneer Trails Tree Farm, providing farm fresh Christmas trees for over 30 years. Continue your family tradition at Pioneer Trails Tree Farm. The perfect gift, Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, the best food in the Valley. For every $50 you spend on gift cards, you get a free $10 bonus card. Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, Route 224 in Boardman, and their new location on Route 46 in Howland. Well, this is going to be an exciting holiday cooking segment. Oh, I've got a special guest joining me a little bit later on. That'll be Philomena with her cranberry salsa. But I was thinking, what is more iconic for the holidays than chestnuts roasting over an open fire? So we're gonna start with two chestnut recipes. I'm gonna make chestnut cookies and I'm going to make chestnut hummus. And it's really very easy. I mean, chestnuts are so moist and flavorful and they have that nutty sweetness. The biggest pain is 
roasting them. You know, you gotta cut the eggs in the shell, bake them, and then peel them, and make sure that you don't leave the skin on because that can be bitter. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of roasted chestnuts. About one pound yields one cup. Two sticks of unsalted butter softened, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, plus more for the garnish, one quarter teaspoon of fresh nutmeg, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and two cups of all-purpose flour sifted. Well, as you can see, these cookies have very few ingredients. We're going to start with two softened sticks of unsalted butter. Now what I did prior to this is I used like my mini chopper and I got a cup of the chestnuts. It's about a pound and I'm gonna add these to the bowl. Okay. And then what we'll do is mix these two together and start making the dough and just combine the nuts with the butter. As you can see, it's just the nuts and the butter mixed together. You just wanna cream them and make sure they're combined. And now we are going to add, oops, <laughs> the half cup of powdered sugar, a little bit of salt, the vanilla, the cinnamon and fresh grated nutmeg. Got to be careful with the nutmeg because you really don't want too much because I think it adds a soapy flavor. Okay. And then we will mix this further. And now we begin adding the flour. So let me and we'll do this, oh, about a quarter of a cup at a time so you don't have the flour bomb. And um, I will just put this in the dough as we go. Now you don't have to, but I do recommend that you sift the flour. I think it makes for a lighter cookie. All right, so now our dough has assembled. It looks great. Then just split it right in half because you want the dough to remain as chilled as possible. And then what I'm gonna do, I can seal it up nice. And then refrigerate it for a few hours or overnight, a few days, but if you're not going to cook it after a few, few days, bake it rather, uh, just you know put it in the freezer till you're ready to use it. You want the dough to remain chilled, so only cook off one packet at a time. So I have this half out, and I'll tell you, this is nice and firm. And what we want is about a one inch ball. They don't spread, so you don't have to worry about placement. You can put them all on the same tray. Make sure it's lined with parchment. And that is about one knuckle. My knuckle is about an inch. Yes, I use it for measurement. And then you just place it there. And you could go up to one inch apart because they do not spread. Well, this batch uh, came out to be about 27 cookies. And I have them rolled nice and neatly in one inch balls. And I have the oven set at 350. I'm going to start watching them at 12 minutes. Well, I baked these cookies for actually 13 minutes. I did put one more minute on after the 12. And they're still light on top and you just want them a little golden brown on the bottom. So they're pretty sturdy. So what I've done is, let me do this really quick. I took the other cup of powdered sugar and then a half a teaspoon of the ground cinnamon and you mix that up. So you just stick them up and I just put them upside down and I roll them, see, in the dough, isn't that nice? and it sticks nice because it's warm, and then I cool them on the rack. Now this is a beautiful cookie. Tastes delicious. Mm. Light, crumbly, loaded with flavor. 
honestly, the chestnuts really add a different taste rather than walnuts, excuse me, or a pecan. All right, so that was something sweet with the chestnuts. Up next, the chestnut hummus. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of roasted chestnuts, one half cup of tahini, two large garlic cloves chopped, one half cup of water, juice from one lemon, one half teaspoon of cumin, one quarter teaspoon of cardamom, one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, one to two tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt, and salt and pepper to taste. Now I really like my tahini nice and smooth, and it takes a while to really blend it because of the nuts. So I suggest if you have some big pieces, just kind of chop them up coarsely. And now I will add this to the bowl. We want the blade attachment and we're just going to put all these ingredients into the bowl. Put the tahini in. Everything goes in right now except the salt, the pepper, and the Greek yogurt. You don't have to drizzle, and I'm just going to add half of the water that the recipe calls for. You can always add more, but it's harder to take out. So we'll put this on, and you don't even have to pulse it. You just go straight on. The Casey Malone Show will return with chestnut hummus and Philomena's cranberry salsa. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Primates. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley Zone Pebblestone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. There's a new standard in assisted living, one that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services, and a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location.
When you walk into Kamara Jewelers now, it's a completely different look. But it's also the same comfortable feeling that you get when you come in. There's more beautiful jewelry, more different designers to show you. You can really see how much we love our job and the, everything that we're able to offer to our customers. So come to Kamara Jewelers, still the same people, same family ethics, 70 years, just a brand new look. You won't be disappointed. Get real, get Kamara. All right, it's been about a solid minute. And as I look, it still is a little thick and a little chunky, if you can see that. So I am going to add the other half of this water. And I'm going to run this for about another minute or two because I really like it creamy. All right, I let this go a good three to four minutes because, you know, when you usually make hummus, it doesn't have like a nut product in it. Now we gotta kick it up a notch. I think it needs a little salt. This is the time you adjust. And I'm just gonna do, not a lot of salt, maybe a teaspoon and a couple grinds of black pepper. And then I'm gonna share my little secret with you. I was at a Lebanese restaurant years ago in Toledo. And I had the hummus there. It was the best hummus I'd ever eaten. And I said to the guy, you know, my God, your hummus is so good. And he said, you know what the secret is? At the very end, add a teaspoon or so of Greek yogurt, just plain Greek yogurt. And ever since then, that's what I do. So that is my hot tip for today. So now I'll put that on. And we're just gonna blend this for a couple minutes, a couple seconds, really. Beautiful presentation. All I did was give it a schmear on the plate and then a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And I saved some of the chestnuts and chopped those on top. And look at that creaminess. Ooh, it is so good. And I know I won't be disappointed. Mmm. It is absolutely delicious. The chestnut with the tahini and the garlic, I mean, it really, really works. Well, as promised, we have a special guest for our final dish, and this is Philomena Roshoni's recipe. Yes. And you shared it with Anthony, and then Anthony shared it with me. I'm glad and he it did. It is fabulous. Cran berry salsa. I thought you'd like it. And I just think the flavors, I think the colors, it is just perfect for the holidays. It's, it's nice. We don't get cranberries all year long. We don't. And I did try to substitute with frozen or something, and it doesn't work. And it doesn't yield to freezing either. So enjoy it while the cranberries are fresh. So make the best of it. Yeah, hay. live it, live it up <laughs> while the cranberries are fresh. Now, you Seriously. know, uh, Philomena is the owner of Wedgwood Pizza. And I've got a couple questions before oh, we go into okay. the dish. Busiest day, would it be the Wednesday before Thanksgiving or Super Bowl? Definitely Super Bowl, and second to that would be Halloween, which is really, really giving Super Bowl a run for the money. When it falls on a weekday, Monday through Thursday, yes. Okay, so the ingredients, oh, we should go over the ingredient list and then we'll come back and we'll make it. For this recipe, you'll need one bag, three cups of fresh cranberries, one small red onion, three jalapeno peppers, de-seeded if you want less heat, six tablespoons of fresh cilantro chopped, 15 cherry or grape tomatoes chopped, three quarters cup sugar or sugar substitute equivalent, one teaspoon of cumin, and three tablespoons of fresh lime juice. First thing we do, it, one at a time, we'll do... One at a time, yeah. Okay, the cranberry... And I did try and do it all together, but it doesn't work, it gets too mushy. So you definitely want to do everything separate. separate. Because the cranberries will take a little longer. Okay, so... Okay, cool. And then you pulse them. I did try them at a coarser pulse, but I find it's better, kind of, because the cranberries tart and bitter. So you don't how want them your, too chunky, right? You don't want them. I can't let's see how yours let's is. See. Okay, how is that? How you like that? I think that maybe just a little smidge more. Oh, okay. just a little bit more. Yeah, too chunky because the bitterness is still a lot for a lot of people to take. Perfect, perfect. That really nice. nice, really nice. I'll let you put this on, Casey, because 
<laughs> My gosh. You thought I knew what I was doing. Okay, so now the red onion. Now, you like red as opposed to yes, yes, the sweet. Definitely. I, I so, think I like the bite. It's exactly, it needs it, it needs it. So okay. again, you'll pulse this till. And like I said, it really does have to be done ste only step by step because otherwise it does get too mushy. Yeah. So now we like the heat, so I did yes. not seed these. But if you don't like heat, you could probably just it not even use them or use a bell. Okay. There All we go. right. So, yeah. is there any particular order? No, you'd like no. To just add finish the, rest the of tomatoes. The then put the tomatoes. I so just add the liquid. these so they don't get too soupy. The juice. Go ahead. The juice, and then okay. the sugar and the uh, cumin, and then the cilantro at last. I okay. put that the last after we mix it a bit. Then the sugar. And like, you know, it, once it gets because liquid. you do need that sugar because it is bitter. Bitter. The, it's tart. Um, it's tart is tart. very very tart. Yeah. And you want the cumin. Mm -hmm. And then, beautiful. oh, look at all that gorgeous That's, fresh cilantro. Wow. Mm, love it. It's really nice. Well, look join it. me in a little Oh, toast. definitely, definitely. Now, this is this Debone Brut Reserve. It is a cava from Spain. I love it. We'll just oh. drop some pomegranate and seeds in. Isn't that fine? <laughs> I am a huge fan. Mm. I mean, it's so fresh. It is delicious. Mmm. All right. All right. Delicious. As my mother well, says, here's to us, none better. You got that right. There now. you go. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Oh. oh, is that Delicious. nice? Really Thank cleanses you. the palate. So, you want Philomena's recipe? Just go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com, and look for the cranberry salsa. Cheers again. Cheers. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Casey. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.